This is ABC 7 News Weekend Edition. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Adam Cellini. Topping our news tonight, a tragic loss for the Sarasota County Fire Department. Battalion Chief Bill Koser has died in a motorcycle accident in South Georgia, according to his family. Koser had been missing since he left their lake house Wednesday night. His body was recovered Sunday afternoon. Koser was a lifelong Sarasota resident and the first baby born at Sarasota Memorial Hospital on New Year's Day back in 1954. He is described by his daughter as someone who would give you the shirt off of his back and dedicated over 25 years of his life to fire rescue. Koser was set to retire from uh, firefighting this coming March. In California, wildfires continue to scorch the Garden State tonight. Right now you're taking a look at one of those wildfires in Kenwood, California, where you can see just the destructive force of that blaze. It's been a desperate situation for thousands living in the area. But as ABC's Maggie Rowley tells us, the situation is starting to look a little less grim as more and more of those fires are contained. After a week of heartbreaking destruction and harrowing escapes. Uh, my eyes are burning too, dude, but we still got oxygen, so we're not dead yet. Finally, signs that things are starting to turn a corner. Well, I'd use the term cautious optimism. Um, we're starting to gain the lead on many of these fires. Firefighters battling with everything they've got managed to increase containment numbers on every major fire, and authorities are allowing at least 25,000 people to return home. Over the next 24 hours, you will see a lot of repopulation plans coming out. But firefighters warn we are not out of the woods yet. For example, this fire here up on the hill is um, uncontained. Many homes and vineyards here in Sonoma remain dangerously close to active wildfires. Ash is falling on us here in this vineyard, and there is a thick smoke in the air. And that is why authorities do not want to let people home to this neighborhood. For those who can come back home, many find nothing but ashes. Uh, the house is gone. Uh, I haven't seen it. I saw my extra neighbor's picture. Our whole street's gone. As Bob Boyett's house burned, he went to work, opening up all of the grocery stores that he manages in the area and feeding first responders for free. It's our job to take care of our community and do what we can, and we got all the stores open. These are my, this is my family. These are my people here. Finding home in each other when there isn't one to go back to. Maggie Ruling, ABC News, Santa Rosa, California. And back here on the Sun Coast, we have uh, ABC First Alert meteorologist Steve Newman in tonight for Wendy Ross. He joins us now with a look at our local forecast. Steve, how are you doing tonight? Pretty good, Adam. We'll take a look at the fire weather for California later on the broadcast. But we had our own excitement, fireworks of lightning and thunder and thunderstorms that came over about 545, 6 o'clock that we really needed. Our lawns needed a little watering, uh, some dangerous lightning for a while, but those storms have now moved offshore. You saw one other area out by Mayaka City within the last hour that kind of tried to form, but uh, they didn't quite make it. We could see a possible sprinkle here and there until midnight, but I think the rain is over for the night. And we did get good amounts, so about a half inch along the Bayshore, Bayshore Gardens, Whitfield, uh, down to the waterfront in Sarasota Bay. A uh, little heaviest was right about Lockwood Ridge Road and State Route 70. You could see over two inches there, heavy down to about the north end of uh, University Park, up to 64. A little less amounts in southern parts of our viewing area. Uh, Hot spot was about a half inch just north of Northport. Now we take a look at our forecast overnight. This is the future radar showing that it's going to be dry, but look at this milkiness set in. This is ground fog because of the rain and the moisture. There will be patches of ground fog, but when the sun comes up, it'll burn off very quickly. Look what happens during the day. Another parade of showers and storms possibly coming our way. We'll look more at that and a look at the nation's weather and a hurricane hitting Ireland in just a few minutes, Adam. All right, thank you, Steve. And if you want to stay up to date on the latest local news and see some alerts on traffic and breaking news instantly, uh, you can download our app. If you're an iPhone or iPad user and currently have our news app, you will need to re-download it. Go to your app store and search for WWSB or My Sun Coast. It's completely free and provides the most comprehensible news uh, for our area. Android users, don't worry. You will get that new version you know, automatically if you have the old one already downloaded on your phone there. Well, nearly a month has passed since Hurricane Maria made landfall in Puerto Rico, but the island is nowhere near back to normal. Communication still difficult and those living without power excruciating. All this amid a rising death toll, which now stands at 48 dead. ABC's Victor Okendo is in San Juan tonight and gives us a look at what some of the people in Puerto Rico are going through. 
The road to recovery here in Puerto Rico is still very slow. 85% of the island still without power, and the governor doesn't expect the majority of Puerto Rico to get power restored until mid-December. And for some people inland, they're facing an even bigger crisis, and that is access. We travel to Barrio San Lorenzo, where the bridge that connects it to the rest of Puerto Rico collapsed after Hurricane Maria. We met a woman. Her name is Carmen Santos. Her commute to work to San Juan became four hours long because of that bridge collapse, and she just lost her job. On top of that, her mother suffered a stroke, and it took her three hours to get to the hospital. She says that she is fed up, and she is ready to move to the mainland. Florida, New York, whatever. We just only take a, the more better condition to help my mom or um, help my, my family. Experts now say that some 200,000 Puerto Ricans may leave the island for the mainland over the next year because of Hurricane Maria and economic hardships. Carmen Santos, again, says she'll be one of them. Victor Okendo, ABC News, San Juan, Puerto Rico. And earlier this evening, people gathered at Marina Jack in Sarasota to try and raise awareness about that crisis in Puerto Rico and also collect supplies to be sent to the island. Organizers say they are not satisfied with what the U.S. government and FEMA are doing to help people in Puerto Rico. That's why they're asking for uh, locals to donate supplies to be delivered to these, those hurricane-stricken areas. I am from Puerto Rico. I moved to uh, Florida 34 years ago. So this is where I live, but home is that little island in the middle of the ocean with lots of water around it. That's where my heart is. I have a lot of cousins there. If it were not for Facebook, I don't know what I would have done because that's how they checked in that they were safe. And being safe did not mean I'm okay. Being safe meant I'm not dead. That demonstration collecting enough supplies to fill two cars before the rain rolled in there in downtown Sarasota. Those supplies and more are expected to be sent by plane this week to the victims of Hurricane Maria. FEMA has already approved $737 million in financial help for families in Florida who were impacted by Hurricane Irma. Thousands of families throughout the state are now taking advantage of the Florida Department of Children and Families Food for Florida program. Dozens of staff members will be on site in our area at the DeSoto and Sarasota Square Malls through Tuesday to help individuals and their families get benefits. All eligible families will receive the maximum amount of food assistance and families already receiving food stamps will get additional benefits added to their EBT cards for September and October. Many families say it is a weight taken off of their shoulders. Food prices are going up and you know it's hard just for two of us and the dog. I mean it's, it's, it's like $125 a week. Families are eligible based on income and must have experienced a disaster-related loss or somehow incurred disaster-related expenses. You can pre-register online through DCF's website to help expedite that process once you arrive on site. Well, living in Florida, we all know it's important to protect our skin from the sun's harmful rays. But one local dermatologist is trying to get across to her patients that is that even when you don't realize you're getting burnt, the sun is still a threat. Take driving in the car, for instance. You may not think sitting in traffic is harmful other than your own stress levels, but UV rays can still penetrate those windows. That's why Dr. Jennifer Trent of the American Dermatology, or excuse me, of American Dermatology Associates advises the additional precaution to uh, add some sunscreen and uh, more clothing. It's very hard to get sunscreen all over your body. Most people don't like it because it's on your greasy. Clothing with UPF in it is the best way to protect yourself. It's not going to sweat off and it stays on as long as you have the clothing on and gives you, depending on what article of clothing you're using or what manufacturer, it can give you over 50% UPF. According to Dr. Trent's advice, do your homework on the clothing you're buying and research which brands offer the best UV protection in their cloth. Well, still to come here on ABC 7, a tragedy aboard a Florida cruise ship. What officials say led to the death of an eight-year-old girl. Plus, how this social media site is hoping to change how you order food from your home.
Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Attention Medicare beneficiaries. Medicare's annual election period has begun. If you already have Medicare, new benefits may now be available with no copays, no deductibles, or zero dollar premiums. Call now to speak to a licensed insurance agent who can help guide you step by step through a free analysis of the benefits available to you. And you may be eligible for plans that even include additional coverage for dental, vision, and prescription drugs. MedicareAdvantage.com searches thousands of insurance plans from leading insurance companies. We'll help you find plans that may cost you less, cover more benefits, and give you more choices, like home delivery of your prescriptions, gym memberships, and even over-the-counter allowances for everyday needs, like antacid, allergy medicine, vitamins, and even toothpaste. Don't miss the deadline to enroll. It's time to get more out of Medicare. Call 800-314-8605. That's 800-314-8605. 800-314-8605. Call now. Growing up, my mom was afraid of the water, something she did not want me to feel. So I enrolled Missy in swim lessons. It changed my life. Missy Franklin. And now you can do the same for someone that you love. There's nothing more precious than your child's well-being. So act now before it's too late. Make us fly! I'm glad I did. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Visit USAswimmingfoundation.org to find, get, or give a swim lesson. Check out My Sun Coast Dining on MySunCoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, step-by-step -step videos, and Sun Coast Restaurant Guide. You'll find it all at MySunCoast.com slash dining. Welcome back. The little girl who fell inside a Carnival cruise ship has now died. The eight-year-old girl had been on a cruise with her family on the Carnival Glory. The ship had just returned and it was docked at Port Miami when that accident happened inside an interior atrium Saturday morning. Police say the girl fell from a landing deck to a lower deck about 20 feet below. That girl was rushed to a hospital in Miami where she later succumbed to her injuries. Carnival Cruise Lines released a statement saying their care and concern is with the girl's family. Thousands flocked from all over the nation this weekend to Orlando, but it wasn't Disney gathering everyone in Central Florida. Instead, it was Orlando's celebration of the 13th annual Come Out with Pride event. Robert Lowe was there and tells us why this was such an important event for the area. Marching through the streets of downtown Orlando, the LGBTQ community celebrating diversity on display with vibrant colors from head to toe. It's the 13th annual Orlando Come Out with Pride Parade, taking place in front of an amphitheater painted in pride colors. Folks here say the overwhelming turnout demonstrates an inclusive city. I love being gay. She loves supporting me in that. She's always been so accepting of me. A message echoed by so many, including Dennis Beaton, who traveled from Houston to be here. I'm here because of the Orlando Pulse massacre. After the shooting, Beaton organized the mayor of Houston's LGBTQ advisory board. Despite a city ravaged by Hurricane Harvey, Beaton says he wouldn't miss this event. We support one another in the following fact love that love shown on social media hundreds of posts using the hashtag keep dancing Orlando created after the pulse attack to honor the 49 victims videos and pictures using the hashtag continue to keep their memory alive nobody forgot about them and nobody will forget that in the city beautiful two words I love wins will always ring true well, switching gears now, if you're hungry but don't want to leave your house, social media site, the social media site Facebook has launched a new service to help you order food right to your address from local restaurants. Now all you have to do is place an order and go to the Explore menu and then click on the Order Food section. It will show you the list of participating restaurants in the area. That new service can be used on Facebook's app or its website. 
but at this point it is only available in the United States. You know, the country that needs it the most. Where we get bigger yeah. and bigger and bigger. You know, the people that need an excuse to not move for their food, just, you know, and let bigger it, let and it bigger come right to bigger. you. Exactly. I was waiting for them to come out of camera so you can see me bigger and bigger and bigger. Of course, it's, a, it's you know, just a, a motion, Steve, you know. We so had a, keeping a trim. We had some we had some nice storms pass over the Sun Coast today. Sure did. And we needed a boy. The lawn was getting a little dusty, and <laughs> this was going to help keep things green. By the way, I'm in for Wendy Ross for the next couple of weekends. Take a look at those storms approaching over Sarasota Bay today. It was beautiful until about five. 5.30, 5.45, and then boom, all of a sudden, shelf cloud comes right over top of us, dumps down about a quarter to a half inch of rain, but it left us with a beautiful sunset, and it's been mainly dry. Well, I wouldn't say mainly dry. There was some lingering drizzle and mist for about an hour after that. I'm looking at Titan radar over the state right now. Hardly anything to be seen, but there is still that easterly flow coming in, bringing moisture off the Atlantic that actually collided with the Gulf Coast sea breeze, and that's what triggered that line of almost solid thunderstorms earlier today right up and down the Sun Coast. It only lasted, though, about an hour, and it's all over, although about dawn we could see some showers offshore. Currently 76 degrees, the dew point 75, and the humidity 97% with light winds. That sets the stage for some ground fog, especially in inland areas as the humidity gets down to 95. We just got to drop off another degree, and we'll be 100% in humidity. So watch out for that if you're driving overnight in the early morning. The high today, 91. Last night's low, 72. Above normal, but we're going to creep down to close to the seasonal average as the week goes on. That's something to look forward to. High temperatures over the Sunshine State today, 91 at Tampa, 90 at Miami, Key West, a lovely 87. And across our viewing area, the hottest spot was 92 at Punta Gorda and Lake Placid. We were 91 at Sarasota, Arcadia, Bradenton, and Parrish. Now, how often do we show you a hurricane tracking map of Europe? Like, never. And in fact, never has there been a hurricane, post-hurricane, this strong, this close to Europe in recorded history. It's going to be the strongest uh, tropical storm hurricane, post-hurricane, to hit Ireland since Hurricane Debbie in 1961. By the way, today is the anniversary of the great British storm of 1987 that knocked down like 18 million trees. It's odd that this is happening one day after that. Tomorrow, as the storm moves over western Ireland, winds over 75 miles an hour. The strongest winds, of course, on the right-hand side will be lashing Britain, the Irish Sea, Scotland, the Isle of Man, and Wales. So it's going to be a pretty rough day across uh, the UK and Ireland tomorrow. It's been rough across uh, the California wine country for over a week. We can see the humidity is going up basically because the temperature is going down, and that's why these are going up. But it's going to be in the teens tomorrow, and it's going to take most of the week, really till Friday, for the humidities to get up to help the firefighters get a control over those blazes. But even then, this is the forecast of precipitation late Thursday into Friday, only about a third to a quarter of inch of rain for the most part up here in the wine country. I used to live in the mountains right up there along the border between Napa and Sonoma County. Here on the Sun Coast where I live now, and I just love it, it is turning a little cooler this week, and it's really because of the season's first cool front that is going to just stall out over us. Not really bring us a lot of cool air, but there'll be enough dry air to make it feel just a little bit more comfortable by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and even into Saturday. Don't look for any big cool down, but it's just not going to feel quite as humid. And here is that front approaching from the north, and you can watch it approach the Sun Coast or approach Florida. Tomorrow morning, look at this milkiness. That's the fog. I think this is way overblown on the extent of it, but the sun comes up, the fog disappears, and another sunny day. And here comes the front sagging over us Monday night into Tuesday, bringing scattered showers and thunderstorms, brings the chances up to about 50, 60 percent. And just behind it, a little bit drier air, dew points going down to like 68, 69, instead of being like the 72 to 73 degree range that we've had. Tomorrow's going to be a great day on the water. Tuesday and Wednesday will be a little rougher, only two feet seas tomorrow. Beach temperature 86. Now here's my forecast for the next seven days, and I kind of like giving you this kind of forecast because it's going to be more comfortable. 50% chance of showers on Tuesday, 40 on Wednesday, and then the front washes out, leaves us with the drier air. And overnight temperatures only in the upper 60s. That's pretty close to where we should be for this time of year. Adam? Thank you, Steve. Sports is coming up next. Stick around. 40 million. That's the number of free phones still available and the number of how many Americans can still get prescriptions free. Free could be wonderful. That's why I'm still working at 77 years old to pay off my prescriptions. I needed to have a 
a prescription filled and I had to leave because I couldn't afford it. Call now and see what's available for you. Free prescriptions. Over 10 million people get prescriptions free and the program has expanded so another 40 million can. Free dental. Over 15,000 dentists have provided over $330 million in free dental work. Free cell phones. 40 million free cell phones are still available with free minutes and more. Free cell phone would change my life right now because it's something I cannot afford to get. Medical supplies like back braces, knee braces, and diabetic supplies may be covered too. The free RX Plus hotline has saved callers over $12 million on their prescription costs. These free programs are now available to 40 million more people. Call now. Don't allow your weight to threaten your health or control your future. Excess weight or obesity can cause emotional and physical health risks, but you can take control. The Your Weight Matters campaign offers free resources and tips to help you measure and understand your weight. Take the Your Weight Matters Challenge. The free toolkit prepares you to speak with a healthcare provider about your weight. Your weight does matter. Take the challenge and take control today. You got a king? Go fish! In your face, in your face, in your it only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. This is an important medical announcement. Xeralto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Studies show that Predoxa can cause more heart attacks than warfarin, and other countries have already issued safety warnings against this drug. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to Predoxa victims, and thousands of Xarelto victims are filing their legal cases. Call the Drug Watch Hotline. If you or a loved one used Xeralto or Pradoxa and experienced uncontrollable bleeding, brain hemorrhage, or even death, you must call now. Call 800-793-6055. 800-793-6055. We're still in hurricane season. Storms can pop up at a moment's notice. Sometimes it's just rain. Sometimes it's much worse. When severe weather strikes, trust ABC7 First Alert Weather. We're here for you. Now, sports. A rough road trip out west for the Buccaneers, and especially their starting quarterback, Jameis Winston, watched most of this one from the sidelines after he was slammed to the turf in Tampa Bay's opening possession right onto that right-throwing shoulder. He would eventually have to leave the game after just 10 throws. On the other sideline for the Cardinals, Adrian Peterson lit it up in his first game with the Cardinals, rushing for 134 yards and two touchdowns since being traded from the Saints. AP turning back the clock. Now backup Ryan Fitzpatrick was able to get Tampa Bay back within five points after being down 30 at one point. But Tampa Bay's defense digs just too deep of a hole. They lose their second straight. X-rays negative on Winston's shoulder. He will have an MRI on Monday. Game two of the NLCS in Los Angeles tonight. Cubs trying to keep the Dodgers from taking a 2-0 series lead. Starters John Lester and Rich Hill unhittable until this solo home run in the fifth inning by Addison Russell gives the Cubs a one-run lead in the game. But it wasn't long before the Dodgers would answer. In the same inning, bottom of the fifth, Justin Turner driving home Charlie Culberson with a two-out single. It ties the game at one, and Turner would come up big one more time for the Dodgers. A three-run walk-off home run, and it gives the Dodgers their second straight win. The Lightning turning back the clock to 1992 today for their 25th anniversary celebration. The Bolts going back to their first home at the Florida State Fairgrounds to sign autographs, meet with some fans, and if your head coach, uh, former head coach Terry Crisp, you were giving out a few hugs as well. The Lightning were voted the best franchise in sports a year ago by ESPN the magazine. I absolutely had the belief that this would be a good hockey town 
once I could get them to understand what the game was about. We were the cornerstone. We were the first ones here, and that can never be relived, could never be taken away. We were the original Tampa Bay Lightning hockey club. In their first quarter century, the Bolts have reached the playoffs nine times, the Stanley Cup Finals two times, and they won the championship for the first and only time in 2004. More to come here on ABC7. Stay with us. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301 sarasotaford.com This is an important medical announcement. Bard IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. Anyone who's received a Bard IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. Let me introduce you to the ultimate Florida window. Do you feel safer with this or this? You'll be proud too. Buy more, save more. Volume discounts on four or more windows. The ABC7 First Alert Hurricane Guide. Download yours today. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. The Florida Lottery winning numbers are sponsored by Frontier Fios. And finally tonight, an ordinary class caught up in an extraordinary moment. A Maryland school choir capturing hearts across social media with this message of strength. Millions reacting to this video after the Kids Choir director shared the song Rise Up by Andrew Day on Facebook Live. It touched me where it gave me hope. It gave me the strength that I needed to keep on fighting. It reminded me of um, how important it is to keep on singing even when things get bad. How about that? The choir taking to the stage to sing and touch even more people. And it reminded me that not everything is hurtful and mean on social media. Absolutely not. We a lot a, is, but that's really We nice. get a gem every yeah. now and then, and it's nice. We get a gem of week coming up. Temperature going to cool off a little bit, or just a little bit drier. All right, looking forward to that. <laughs> well, join us in the morning. Well, good morning, Suncoast.